No, not too big. I don't know. Oh yeah, no, it's a, it's a big one. This is a big fish. The wind's kind of stable at like 10 miles an hour, but then these 20 mile an hour gusts come. They're coming frequently. So I don't think today's gonna be super easy, but I'm gonna try and do whatever I can. The first spot I tried to fish, I've, I've been fishing now for, I've been out here now for about an hour, but I was only fishing for about five minutes or so. I went down the river a ways, a little ways, to a spot I thought might be good because there's a, a creek crossing the main river. It's also very open um, in, in that area. There's not a lot of tree cover and uh, so forth. So because the wind's kind of bad, it was terrible there. I'll see about here. I don't know. Yeah, the wind just really calmed down. I really hope that that's sort of a, a, a change in conditions here that is gonna last. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. We're not off to the greatest start here, but we're gonna get it done. Stick with me. We still got our eel head right there. Let's put him down. We're over 42 feet of water right here. Drop that down to the bottom, see if anybody's home. These things are amazing. Like, you know, I cut this guy's head off half an hour ago and he is, he is moving still. A nice, fresh, bloody chunk of eel there. Okay. We got a fish. We got a fish. Not a big one, I don't think. Gotta watch our drift here. So we don't run into that stuff over there. I think we're gonna be fine. Not a big fish. Don't go in the other line. He might be in it. Yeah, he's got the other line. Uh, let's see what we can... We can deal with tangles. All right, first catfish, <clears throat> not a big guy, but we got him. Oh, he shook off, that's okay. Oh, there's, a, there's one, guys. Oh, he didn't stay on. No, he's on. We got one, decent sized one. Big one maybe, no, not too big. I don't know. Oh yeah, no, it's a, it's a big one. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. This is a big fish, guys. And that one's getting hit too, I can't. That one's getting hit too. Wow. Okay, let's not lose this fish. Big fish, guys. That rod's getting hit, but that's all right. Come here. Come here. Come here, big fish. He's going back down. Oh, man, he's going. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this one. Got him back up at the surface here. Don't try and go back down. Chill out, calm down. I gotta calm down. I'm stressed, guys, because of the wind and stuff. And I got this other line out. I got a little catfish on there. That's why that was flopping around so much. I don't really care about him right now, though. <sighs> All right, let's get this fish unhooked. This is a big ass catfish, man. For me, actually, I think this is a, this is a pretty big fish by any standards. Look at him, look at that head. I'll zero it again, there we go. Zero. Zero, all right. Let's pick this fish up, Let's see what he weighs. Oof. Come on, buddy. Cooperate with me here. Can you see that? 39.0. 39.0, there it is. Woo! Look at him. Damn, all right, let's let him go. I gotta get out of here now. All right. Those teeth are sharp. Ugh. <laughs> kind of tore me up there a bit. There he goes. He went pretty quick. I had him out for a minute, but he was fine. Ah, yikes, that hurt. Woo! Look at my, I'm so slimed out. <laughs> oh, man. That was a beast. I started this morning out just like kind of stressed out and annoyed with this wind, not thinking we were going to catch anything. Not because I thought fishing would be bad, it was just that the wind logistically was making fishing difficult and I was almost ready to give up. And then we got that bite. That made it all worth it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing. I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.